Hey, welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're on the last piece of this section here, Luke chapter 19, verse 26 and 27. It's the conclusion of the parable, you know, with the ten, the ten talents and the five talents and the one talent. But there's more, and it's often not talked about. Let's read these last two verses. For I say to you that to everyone who has will be given, and from him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him, but bring here those enemies of mine who did not want me to reign over them and slay them before me. Ah, that's a little bit of a surprise, isn't it? All the time we've always heard about the ten and the five and the one, but, but there's a little bit more to this. Remember at the beginning of the parable, the, he goes in a way into a far, far place to receive his kingdom, and then he comes back. There's a group of people there that, do, that absolutely hate him. They don't want him to, to rule over them. They sent a delegation uh, to prevent it, but it doesn't work out that way, and he gets to become the king anyway. He comes back, and then he gets, deals with all the, the minas, the talents he gave out. And now he comes back, though, and he's going to deal with these other guys, the guys that hate him, hate him without a cause. And notice what we have here. Uh, he says, He says what? Basically, every person has responsibility. Everybody's going to have a responsibility when the king returns. What have I done for the kingdom? How have I treated other people? What have I done with the opportunities God has given me? Now, look at this. So, yeah, even what you don't have will be taken away if you have the wrong spirit there. And then we have this, verse 27, which kind of, kind of is, uh, you know, shocking, right? But bring here those enemies of mine who did not want me to reign over them and slay them before me. What? Well, remember, these are people who, without any reason, serious reason for it, they refuse to be ruled by him. He's the legitimate ruler. He's the legitimate king. And they are saying, no, we're not going to accept a legitimate king. We will be our own rulers. We will be our own gods. We will do things our way, no matter what. And what happens when you have the, the king who's the creator? He, he, he is a person, a god of love. He wants to do good. Only his unselfishness is allowed in his kingdom. And what happens when you have a group of other people who are over here saying, you know, we're going to take whatever we want. We're going to do whatever we want. We're going to engage in whatever we want. We're going to just run the whole place. And yeah, that's an irreconcilable crunch. And so there comes a time when this, this kind of absolutely unreasonable, you know, rebellion has to be put down. And so in that light, we see verse 27. Bring those, you know, they're, they're called to account, they're brought to judgment, they have no mitigating factors, you know, they, they, they were wrong. I mean, they were wrong, and they're still filled with rebellion, and so he says what? What, the only thing he can say? Kill them. And so they're slain before him. There is a, there is a calling to account, there's a moral accountability, everybody has a moral accountability, and thankfully, the God to whom we're greatly accountable is a wonderful and good God. To protect these persons, he will, he will deal with these persons. So it might blow your mind, but I'm thankful for Jesus. And I'm thankful that in the end, he's the judge, not me. And he will rightly execute whatever judgment needs to be executed on those who demand to be gods, even though they're not. Doesn't work that way. Isn't going to turn out well in the end. Oh, friends, let's all repent and turn to the true king who made, make, who made us. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for this parable. We've looked at it over about four mornings, and we've learned maybe some more pieces than we've normally heard of. Uh, and it calls us very sharply to account. Help us, Lord. Help us to be faithful in all the opportunities you give us. May we expend some energies for your kingdom, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So may the Lord help us to be willing to be made willing so that we may serve Jesus better. You be blessed today.